Hello guys and welcome to Sophisticated Obsession. On today's show we're doing something slightly different and we are looking at the new collaboration between Supreme and North Face, paying particular interest in my new hoodie. Coming up. Hello guys, what's happening? It is Matt here from Sophisticated Obsession and today we are going to be putting the fragrances on the back burner. Now today we are looking at clothing, the North Face and Supreme collaboration. Now before I get into a little bit of detail about this hoodie that I am wearing at the moment, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the latest collaboration and the previous drops that Supreme has done. First of all, is Supreme a bit of a dying art or are there still things in there that people should still be copying? Well, to begin with, I thought that Supreme was a little bit dead and I didn't really see anything this year that inspired me enough to go, do you know what, yes, I want to make a purchase and I want to get this or I want to like at least try and get it before it like sort of sells out within like 30 seconds. So. I didn't really see anything this year um, or this season that I've really, really wanted. Everything has been a little bit mediocre and maybe a little bit vanilla. Um, and for the, the, the hyped price that you are going to be paying, it probably isn't worth it. And also for the resellers out there, are you actually going to be making much money? Like, is it going to really be worth all of the hassle? You've got to ask yourself that. I can't say whether it is or it isn't, because obviously that's up to you guys, but if it was me, I'd probably just want to stay sort of in bed. Anyway, the latest collaboration has been with Supreme and North Face, and usually it is all about the outwear. It's about like the Parker jackets, and it's about the bombers, and all of these really, really like interesting pieces. And the latest piece, being this sort of metallic looking sort of feel to it, ah, I didn't buy it and I really, really can't see anybody rocking this out and about and um, putting this to any sort of style. It just looks a little bit cheap. That is not to say that North Face do not sell tacky goods and I'm sure that what they are designed for, which is like serious outwear and stuff that, you know, is going to sort of brave the elements, I do not doubt that they are going to be really, really good pieces for that. But as style icons, uh-uh. No, no. So that then leads me into a few other pieces that were in this drop. Namely, the hoodie and the t-shirt. Both of these really, really simple designs, but effective. And that sort of just goes to show you that obviously simplicity is best. Don't try and overcomplicate something. So with this hoodie, it is just a simple motif that looks like it is sort of metallic. It isn't, there isn't anything special about this. It's just printed and it's just sort of bog standard really. Um, there isn't anything like reflective on this. This is just simply a print on a hoodie. Same with the other, uh, the other colors so are in the black and also same with the t-shirts. Anyway, let's get to the review of this hoodie. Okay, so here is the hoodie um, in its entirety. Now I've taken it off, but I will put it back on just so then you can then sort of see it properly. On the front, obviously, you have then got this motif in the sort of metallic look. Really, really nice, really, really simple, really, really effective. Um, the hoodie is sort of quite oversized, quite baggy. You've then got a really nice pouch in the in the front just to keep all of your things. Um, the, the hood, I quite like that it isn't overly big. I always find that hoods that are like really, really baggy, they just look like, like they just look rubbish. Um, whereas this is really, really nice and it keeps it quite nice and like in tight sort of to your neck, which looks a little bit more effective, I think. You don't really want this like wizard's cloak. 
it's not a good look. Then on the back, you've then just got, like all uh, North Face gear, um, just on the right shoulder, the logo just there in the, uh, in the small print. Um, this does run a little bit big, and I'm sort of glad Supreme don't do small sizes. I've, I've never ever seen a small size. They just don't do it. They just don't do it. They don't, they don't want people to be small. They want people to be medium. So I got a medium in this, and I've got to say it fits perfectly. It's got a little bit of room, but it's also not like a tent where I'm, I'm losing myself in there. So I really, really like that. Now the retail, where is it? Yeah, so the retail, what well, I paid 128 pounds, okay? So you've got like your little tag just here. I do think that that is on the pricier side of things, but is it worth it? We'll get to that in a moment. So as you can see by the fit, it's got a little bit of room here. There is a little bit of room, but it's not massively baggy. There isn't really too much excess going on down here. It's, it keeps quite nice on the hips. And again, with the arms, because I'm a bit of a shorty, I don't want the arms to be absolutely enormous and really sort of like just dangling by my shins. I want it to be kept on the cuff. And there is like an elasticated uh, cuff to this, so it will sort of stay on if you are like me and a little bit short. Um, it will stay on your cuff, but I think that this is just a really, really nice size. If, guys, you want to then have a little bit more room, or you are thinking of putting things underneath this, so if you're thinking more than just a t-shirt, um, then yeah, I would probably say just go up a size. Uh, they do um, have up, uh, sizes like medium, large, extra large, and so on. They do go up in size, they just for some reason don't go down in size, so they don't have extra small and small. Getting back to, is it worth the money? And I've gotta say, I'm not too sure. I do like that on the uh, reverse of it, it is like a fleecy type feel, but you get that with all hoodies, regardless of where you're getting it from. So it doesn't matter if you're spending like, 120, 28 quid, or if you're spending 20 quid. I feel like you get that fleecy feel underneath, and it feels kind of thin. It doesn't feel like a real thick piece of, uh, of clothing where you could wear this without your jacket. I would say layer it underneath a jacket if you're going out in spring, or like a day like today where it's just basically grey. I would definitely wear a jacket with it as well. Don't wear this just on its own um, because it's really, really cold and this is quite thin for a hoodie. Obviously I know that this is a sought after piece and if I wanted to then sell it on, I would probably make a little bit of money on it. But is it worth it if I just went in and saw it on the peg? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, I would have to probably get back to you on that one. This is definitely the, the statement piece of this drop. And I think that the t-shirts as well are really, really nice. And I haven't yet actually had my hands on a t-shirt, but um, I do know that they are really, really well designed. They're really well made. The, the quality is there. Just like this hoodie, the quality is there. It's just... I don't know if I can justify it or not. I'm still umming and ahhing about it. So anyway, that is my very, very brief review of this hoodie. Um, let us know what you think, and also let us know if you want to see more videos like this on this channel. I know that I do normally go to fragrances and things like health products and things like that, but I just want you to then let me know on how you found this video, whether you found it informative, and whether you want to then hear more about them. Anyway, please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please hit that big subscribe button here. Anyway, that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we will be back with some more content very, very shortly. Bye!